my question as I looked at the world of technology was, what are the inherent biases in technology? Where is it kind of leaning towards? And again, this is not present in an individual item. It's talking about the system as a whole. And so um, I try to identify what those things are. And to my surprise, those tendencies look very, very similar to the general tendencies of life, of evolution on the planet. There is a move, all things being equal, towards more complexity. There's a move towards greater mutualism, meaning that the technology is becoming more and more dependent on other technologies. There's a movement towards diversity, We're getting more and more varieties of things. Things are not becoming simpler. Forget about the iPhone outside, but the inside of the iPhone is getting more and more and more complicated. And so I look at things like the internet and ask, well, what are some of the biases in and that and that's sort of one of the questions that people are having right now with social media and other things or what are the native inherent biases in these technologies kind of independent of us that we should listen to and this is why i call it, we want to listen to it because if there's a bias we can do we can i mean we can overcome certain things or we can do things in spite of the bias but we have to be aware of what those biases are and uh, I find that the best way to find out what those biases are is through engagement, through using things. And so I think we can think about a lot of these things forever, but it's only through using them that we see how they are biased. And, um, and then we want to adapt and steer. So it's through use that we steer. So I'm not a proponent of prohibitions, early legislation, all these things, because they're trying to steer without using them and we can only steer through use.